Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Wishing Tales. Today is Whipping and Wishing Wednesday. It is basically my version of a whipping chat. I'm going to sit here and chit chat with you. And in between, I'm going to show you what's on my wish list. And then you guys can go over to Instagram at Wishing Tales and show me what's on your wish list. Or if you don't have Instagram, you can go to Facebook at Wishing Tales Diamond Painting. Ask to join. And then you can show me in there. Because I like to see what everybody else gets to. Or what everybody's wishing to get. I have quite a few on my wish list. And quite a few in my cart. And I guarantee you, if I was to tell you everything, we'd be here for a couple months. So, we're just going to show you a couple of them. Some of them. I hope everybody's having a good day or morning. Um, mine's starting out a little rough with these three tens. And for those of you who don't know, three tens are black. And this is the first time I've had really crappy ones from Home Fun, I can tell you. I like Home Fun. Because um, <clears throat> I don't usually get this much crap in the three tens. But, and their canvases, I love their canvases. Their symbols are really super clear. But, uh, yeah. This morning they're giving me a fit already. I'm, like, super crooked already. But, um, I wanted to thank everybody that hosted a live over the weekend for the DP-a-thon. Um, I was in... I came by and stopped and watched a few of you. I was pretty busy with the truck and and selling the car and all that good stuff so I couldn't really stop in too too long but uh I did watch some of the um, replays and I'm gonna watch some more here in a little while because now I'm playing catch up with all my videos it's amazing how far you get behind because of two days I mean I had to clean and oh it's horrible but my truck got fixed and we sold the car and so that is a good thing and then Friday I know you probably you guys probably don't care but Friday we have the roofers coming out they're gonna do our roof um, I don't know, I don't recall if I said, but a couple weeks ago when we had those bad storms go through, we had a hole ripped in our roof, and it leaked down onto everything downstairs and where I live. I live in the basement apartment, and um, I was thankful because this table here was sitting basically two inches from where the water was coming through on the ceiling and oh my god if it had hit my table and I forget what I had up here that would have just so made me mad but it didn't and it's getting fixed so I'm happy about that and uh, moving on I think I have all the Z's and if not I'll go back and get it I'm tired of these Z's already. But uh, this is my good morning coffee. I don't know if you guys saw the unboxing of it last week with the Eeyore. And if you didn't, I'll, I'll link it down below for you. But um, <clears throat> I'm trying to get it to where I can do a live. But my computer has a built-in cam camera. And it keeps saying it can't find it. It's an HP computer, laptop. And I, I don't know what's going on. So I have to find another program. I have to download another program or something to, so I can do a live. But for now, this will have to do. Okay, the first thing I have on my wish list. Sorry, there was a break in there. I had to, I had to remember what I was doing. But, um is uh, the Queen of Hearts. I think I'm going to be her for Halloween. Maybe, I don't know. Because I make all my costumes. Um, 
I think I have one of them on my Instagram that I made from last year. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make mine this year because it's, it's a pretty good project. I'm going to try. Wow, these, these are kind of crappy here. they got some holes in them. Um, anyway, it's the Queen of Hearts. I'm not sure what company she's from. I'd have to look it up, and I don't want to do that right now. Um, but here's the, the pictures right there for you guys to see. And um, I'll put the company name under there. I think it might be UA, the Y-U-H-U-A company, but I wouldn't swear to it. And um, I'm only going to do a sm probably a small one of her because I don't know how good the details would turn out but I, I won't do more than 30 by 40 on that I can tell you and then um there's another of course most of them are going to be Disney just to give you a heads up because I love Disney obviously and you know if you don't like Disney I'm sorry I'm sure there's something that you watch that is probably Disney and you don't even realize it. Um, but another one is of uh, Coco. I don't know if you ever else, if you all have ever seen that movie Coco. It's about the little boy with that goes on to um, find his 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 calling and its music. But anyway, in the movie they have a spirit animal and his name is Pepita, and it's basically a flying. Uh, tiger or something to that effect but there's only been I can't find just Pepita so I found this picture and it has Pepita flying in the background and I know I can do a custom but I, I don't want to have to go through that right now you know and I know a custom probably wouldn't be much but I don't know. I mean, I have enough that I can order without being a custom right now, so. Not that I can order them all. Wish I could. I, I went into, when the cart was still able to have 98 things in it, I checked all of them just out of curiosity to see how much it would be. And it was like $1,200 worth of paintings and tools and stuff in there, and I was like, oh my god. So, I cannot do that all at once. If I could, I would, but I can't. So I'll do it a little bit at a time and maybe put a dent in it, which, you know, I doubt because I'm always adding more stuff to it. The other day I just added probably about another 20 things, which is hilarious. Is that a V, guys? Can you see that? Is that a V? I can't see from my angle. Yeah, I think it is. If not, I'm sure one of you guys will correct me. What about, where did that one go? That's a X, okay. Um, my table is slightly tilted up, <clears throat> and this is kind of far away from me because of the way I have the camera set up. I mean, it's all right. I'll figure it out. No big deal. And if I misplace a letter, you know, whatever. As long as I don't mis misplace too many and it comes out wrong. These here, I, I guess these are like coffee leaves or something, maybe? It looked weird in the picture, and I don't know if you, you guys can probably tell better than I can, but I'm guessing they're coffee leaves. I've never seen a coffee leaf from the bush, so I, I don't know. I know these are the coffee beans. I don't know why they're black around the coffee beans. I thought they would be brown. But I just got to trust the process. And it'll look good when it's done, I'm sure. So I wanted to thank everybody that did the DP-a-thon over the weekend. Um, I did stop in and, and see a couple of you. Uh, we were pretty busy. We sold the car and we had to fix my truck because um, some of you might know that my brakes went out last week. And then I didn't have any power. I haven't had any power steering for probably a couple months now. But since we sold the car, I was able to get the... Well, I already had the part for the brakes. 
But since we sold the car, I was able to get the power steering fixed. Oh my God, that cost us a pretty penny. I mean, we did the work ourselves, but still, the parts were the parts are ridiculous for that truck. I mean, ridiculous. We have a big, big truck. You know, us country folk like our trucks. And um, I guess you could call us the typical redneck. I don't want to insult anybody. I find redneck term to be okay. It doesn't bother me. Country folk. With the big truck. But anyway, it cost a lot. The parts were a lot of money. For us, anyway. And I know I'm going to miss one. I'm working on V. And I don't know if you guys do it, but I can tell you, and I'm going to tell you honestly, for those of you watching that have a YouTube channel about diamond painting, I guarantee you, if I've seen you doing a whipping chat, I guarantee you I've yelled at you from the screen and saying, you missed one, there it is, right there, right there. And of course, I know you can't hear me. And I know you guys are going to end up doing the same thing because it's funny. It's like you guys can see differently than what I'm seeing. And I don't see any more V's and I guarantee you as soon as I put these up, I'm going to find another one. Oh, pardon me. I don't have my coffee over here yet. All right. I think I got them all. Nope. Oh, look, see, I see another one. You guys probably already saw that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I started recording this earlier for you. And my husband scared the crap out of me and came in. Because I thought he had already left for work. But he had to come back because he forgot something. And I'm like, so now he's going to be late. But, you know, that's his problem. But uh, he scared the crap out of me. So I just stopped. Not literally. So I'm starting to work out of these jars. Um, I, I don't know if you saw the unboxing of the one bag that I got, the 126 jar bag. I actually love these things. Except for when you're using that big tray that doesn't have a funnel. I don't know if any of you have this. Here, let me show you. This tray here, it has this little spout. Yeah, that is hard as crap to get those in there. I need to buy a funnel, and I meant to order one last week, and I forgot to. So I'm going to have to order one probably this week if I can. Um, the thing is, when I order the little things, like the tools and stuff, and you can tell me if you guys do this too, it's like going to a Walmart or a Target or any store or grocery store. And you intend to only get bread and milk. And you end up buying half the store. Or you go to Walmart or whatever and you end up, you, you're only intending to buy cat food. And you end up buying the whole store. Well, that's me with AliExpress. I go in with the intention of only buying one thing and I end up buying ten. Which, it doesn't matter to me. And thankfully, my husband's pretty cool about it. He's like, I don't care, baby. And let me tell you why he doesn't care. Because when he's at work, I don't, I don't work. So I stay at home. I take care of the house. And when he's at work, some of his co-workers buy him lunch. Which is fine. Don't get me wrong. That's great. That's great. You know, if they're going to buy him lunch, more power to him. Where'd my tray go? There it is. But I'm sitting here at home trying to figure out what to eat. And don't get me wrong. We have food. I'm, I'm not saying we don't have food. But, you know, it's nice to go out and have somebody, you know, wait on you. You know what I mean? For, for To sound, not to sound rude or anything, but moms would know. 
moms will understand, dads will understand who stay home and take care of the kids and the house and the animals. It's nice to go out and be served upon for a change. Sorry, there was a break there. But yeah, so it's like, you know, so when you go into a store and you end up, you want to buy only one thing and you end up buying the whole store, that's me with AliExpress. I can't go in and just buy one thing because it's like, hey, well, you know, I'm here and why just buy one thing for 65 cents when I can buy $60 worth? Not that I should, but I do. And I have something stuck to my arm. What is it? It is a bag. So yeah, so I, I definitely need to get that funnel because that's the only thing I don't like about those jars. Other than that, I love them jars. I have one, um, if, if you haven't seen my desk, I got the drafting table from Amazon and that unboxing, I'll, I'll link that down too so you can see it. You can always scroll to the end, it's no big deal just to see what it looks like, but uh, some of you might have it. But um, on the sides, it has these little trays. They're like black trays. You can hold your pens. It's not big enough to hold a cup, which sucks, because I would really like to have my coffee up here. But on the, the long ones, it'll hold 20 jars on each of those. And um, so I have 40 jars up here for this painting here. Which is nice because most of the paintings that I have are under, I think this has, this has 33 colors in it and I used 40 jars. Because, you know, it has a lot of 310s and a lot of, uh, what's that other color it has a lot of? I don't even know now. Oh, the 3865s. Yeah, that has almost 7,000. And then the 310s is almost 5,000. So, yeah, but that's why, because, you know. But I love it, and so, um, anyhow, you have to forgive me, I tend to ramble. I'm actually nervous about doing a, any kind of a whip and chat. Um, I think it'd be easier if I had, if I could figure out how to do the live, because then that way I can talk to you guys in real time. Um, but to just sit here and, and to talk, and I, I, I can't respond to you guys, it, it sucks. You know, you're the reason I'm even here. I do this not just for me and my sanity, and I say that in the most, you know, loving way possible. But I do this for you guys, you know, beginners and intermediates and novices, you know, whatever. Get in there. But I like doing this. I like showing you guys, first of all, and it's not being braggy. I like showing you what I'm doing. I like showing you tips and tricks that I've learned or failed miserably at. And I know I just ended a sentence with a proposition. If you're an English teacher, I apologize. So sorry about that. If you're not an English teacher and you don't care, then we'll just keep going. But um, anyway, I mean, I started the channel basically to help help people like me who are just starting and have no clue what they're doing. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I've been doing this for a little bit, not long, actually, you know, probably just maybe six months or, well, no, it's probably been longer than that, maybe eight months I've been diamond painting, but, um, <clears throat> still, there's things that I wished I would have known when I started, like, these tweezers here are better than the cheap tweezers. And this is my first set of good tweezers. But let me tell you something. Not to sidetrack myself. These tweezers here, if you ever get them, watch those points. I have them hurt my hand so many times because I sit there and, and I flip it to put them down. And then those things are sharp, let me tell you. I actually have other tweezers coming. So... And they're supposed to be really good. But these things are sharp. So if you've never had these before and you get a pair, just know they will hurt you. Just had to put my little two cents in there about that. <clears throat> and it's weird because those cheap tweezers that we usually get, I was fine working with those. 
mean, because I didn't really use them that much anyway, and I still don't use the tweezers that much. But uh, I, after I got these, I completely, completely understand now why you guys don't like those cheap tweezers. It does make a huge difference having good having good tweezers when, in fact, you do need them. Okay, I think I have all my X's. And now that I've told you my little story about that, I've just crack up because now I think you guys are just yelling at me. You missed one. And here I'm spilling them and I have a funnel. Jeez, Louisa. Uh -huh, whatever. Pick them up. So while I'm picking up, the next thing on my wish list, and I know some of you have probably seen this one or a version of it, but it's of Tangled, the movie Tangled, with Rapunzel and I cannot remember the horse's name. It's got Finn. Oh, well, here's the picture. It's got Finn and Rapunzel and the horse, and I don't know why I can't remember his name. It's been a long time since I watched the movie. But they're in the boat. You can see they're in the boat with the lanterns. That's the first time I've seen that one with them up close. I've seen this one, and I think some of you have that one, but I've never seen the one with them up close like that. Um, <clears throat> so, but yeah, that, I want to get that one. I'm just like all kinds of discombobulated today I found the four that I missed let's see if I can just grab one out of the jar there we go that's a really pretty lavender that four this this one here it's really pretty but anyway so I want to get that tangled <clears throat> That really bothers me that I can't remember the horse's name. Maybe it'll come to me later. But I found that one to be pretty. That one's probably going to have to be big, though. This here with the coffee is a 40 by 40, in case anybody was wondering. And um, looking at it, the Tangled might have to be a 50 by 50 at least. Because of the lanterns. I want the lanterns to come out really nice. <clears throat> I don't like to get the bigger paintings. I know. I can't believe I just said that either. But it's because eventually I want to be able to hang all these. And I don't have a whole lot of room to hang stuff. So, you know. Believe me, I would love to have the wall space to do big ones all the time. And I don't know if you guys hang all the ones that you do, but... I want to give you guys kudos for being able to do the big ones. My biggest one I have right now is a 50 by 70. And I haven't started it yet. I have one here and one's on the way. <clears throat> and I'm kind of a little nervous to start it. I know it's just another diamond painting. You know, it's just more of it. But, um... I was actually nervous getting a 40 by 40, which is this. And, I mean, it's not bad. I work in sections anyway. But if you guys, I tell you, you guys that do those huge ones, you know, the 40 by 180s or whatever, oh, my gosh, more power to you guys. Congrats. I don't know if I would be able to do that one that big, let alone have a place to put it. Um, I do would like, I would like to do one huge one. I mean, like one that covers the entire wall. If I had a wall that I could do a mural on, I would love to do it in a diamond painting. I think that would be awesome. And then, of course, you know, protect it somehow, like with glass or something. Or even plexiglass. But I think glass would probably make it shine and shine better. But, um, yeah, I would love to do that. Like, I don't know, some kind of a nature scene. I don't know that I would do a night scene in a house for a whole wall. I don't know. I don't know. Is that an eight? Yeah, that's an eight. Working on my eights now. 
So I know I can't hear you, and you guys are going to say, there's one there. But I'll find it eventually. Let's see on the live. If I could do a live, then you guys could tell me, and I could say, oh, thanks. So I'll just say, oh, thanks. There's one. Just in case you yelled at me that there was one there. Anyway, I don't know where I was. So I'll just move on. Oh, I got my glasses on my head instead of on my face. Ooh, that's better. Looks like I have a couple strangers in that one. Stranger danger. Anyway, <clears throat> what letter am I working on? Eight. So technically it's a number, not a letter. So anyway. Um, next item on the wish list is a panther. I like panthers. There's actually two paintings I want, but let me tell you about this one first. It's from Tin Me Arts. But I think I want to try and find it. I want it in square. And Tin Me Arts, as I'm sure some of you know, or most of you know, mostly do rounds. And it's not that I don't like rounds. I just prefer square. I mean, it looks like I'm like doing a horrible job of this, but I promise you they will straighten out later as they get filled in. But, um, I like it. I like the pink background. And I, you know, I told you guys before, I'm not a pink kind of girl. I think it really depends on what it is. I like the color. Don't get me wrong. I just, I don't wear pink or anything like that. And I would never put pink on my truck. If you put pink on your truck, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. I'm just not that kind of a girl. I prefer, my, my favorite color is red. But my truck is actually gray, silver gray I think it's gray and um but I'm really into the teals and like the robin egg blues which is what my house mostly is mostly like the robin egg blue but um anyway Tin Me Arts is mostly rounds but I really love this painting and I'm sure I can probably find it somewhere else um and depending on the company I, I don't know. I, I might do it in a round. Just to give me a small break from the squares. But I, I really do like the squares, guys. So tell me, um, if you go over on my Facebook or leave a comment down below, which one do you prefer, squares or rounds? Now, if you haven't done a round, obviously you don't know, but let me know. Let me know whether you've done both and which one you prefer. Okay, I'm working on eights, and I know I'm going to miss one. Does this ever happen to you guys? I know I've heard a couple people say it. When you do your whole, you do the blah, blah. When you do a number, and then you put it away, you find another one. Mm-hmm. That happens to me all the time. And I'm sure it's going to happen again today. Um, okay, so anyway, <clears throat> next item on my wish list, and this one I thought was appropriate because they're mining for diamonds, and it is the Seven Dwarfs, and the one I want though, well, let me show you, I'll show you this one, isn't that awesome? They're mining for diamonds, for our diamond painting, because they're all colored. But of the one I want is the one with Dopey where he puts the diamonds in his eyes. I think that would be so cute. But I haven't been able to find that. So that might end up having to be a custom of some sort. But this one I thought was cute because they're mining for diamonds and they're all different colors. And it's like, ha ha, this is where our diamonds come from. I thought it was cute. But anyway, what am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? How about fives? Fives all over here. It's pretty shade. I got 
gotta be a uh, Unfortunately, I'm going to have to go soon because i got to take my son to work. I'm going to try and get some more done. There is uh, one big one I would love to get. It's this one here. It's Mickey. It, it looks like it's through the years. you got Steamboat Willie, and then you have the one with the... Uh, Mickey and the Beanstalk. Uh, I forget which one. That, I forget. I honestly forget what they called that cartoon, but um, they had a name for it. But um, you can see see all of them there. But for the size that I want, it was like fifty five dollars. And you know, I'm sure my husband wouldn't care that I get it. However, to get something, you know, I think I think I was gonna do like a hundred fifty by. 40 or, or 40 by 100, I don't know, something like that, but, um, one, again, I don't have a place to hang it, and two, I think he might have a cow if I spend 50 to 5 dollars on one painting, um, he might not if I get the rest of these done first, I mean, don't get me wrong, my husband doesn't care, he, I might be a stay-at-home wife, but he, he doesn't care what I do, what I get, because he loves me, thankfully, thankfully I have a good man. Um, but anyway, I just, I don't know. I just can't justify spending that much money on one painting right now. Maybe eventually, but I really like that one. And then there's another one, um, oh, we were talking about the Panthers. That's what we were talking about. So there's, I know you guys have seen this. It is the picture of the three kittens. And they're looking in a puddle of water, and they see their reflections as the big cats. And if I'm not mistaken, the one is a tabby, and I'll, I'll put the picture here so you guys can see it too, but one's a tabby, and his reflection I think is a tiger, and then the middle one is a black cat, black kitten, and his reflection is a panther, and the other one, I know you can see it there, but I don't have it in front of me. I think it's a lion or maybe a different colored tiger. I'm not really sure right now. But anyway, I've seen the tiger one and the lion one separate, but I've never seen the panther one separate. And I was looking on there the other day, and they have it now. So here's the one with, I think it's a different kind of a kitten, but um, here's the one with just the panther. I want that. And um, I don't know what it is that I like panthers. I actually have a tattoo on my on my shoulder blade. It's a um, Native American girl, and she has a panther. Her name's Dream Basket. But um, and if I if I feel like it, I will put the picture of my tattoo up here so you guys can see it. Um, but anyway, she's got the panther in her hair. Originally, that too that ta that too that tattoo would have covered my whole back had I got the all of it um, her name is indeed dream basket because I, I found it in a book and originally where the panther is right above that was an eagle head and above that I think was a deer head and then above that was a bear like a, a really tall bear but I didn't want all of that I just wanted the panther and um Ugh, I keep dropping my things. So, yeah, but I really like that. And if, some of you may know that I had a black cat, and his name was Glenn. And I will put a picture of my baby Glenn up there. And um, I had to put him down a few years ago. Uh, it still breaks my heart. I'm not going to talk too much about that because I will burst into tears. But, um... <clears throat> That picture with the kitten and the panther just remind me so much of Glenn. Um, he was so soft-spoken. He was such a soft-spoken little kitty. But when he played, he he played not rough, but he played hard. And I just picture him seeing himself as a panther waiting in stealth mode. Because that's what he did when he was a little kitten. He would, like, be in stealth mode. He was adorable. But that's why I want that one, because it reminds me of him. But I do want to change the eyes, though. I can't remember. 
I know you guys can see it there. I think the eyes are more of an orangey yellow, yellow orange. And Glenn had green eyes, so I want to be able to change the eyes to a green. Um, so yeah, that's I want that. So anyway, guys, I'm going to have to pause here. And then I will come back and do some more and record some more for you. Um, cause I gotta take my son to work, but I will be back. Okay guys, I'm back. Took the boy to work. And uh, now I'm gonna do my H's. I'm not sure exactly where we left off, so I'll just move forward. Um, I ordered a bunch last week. Which I was going to show you what was on my wish list. And I, but then I ended up ordering a couple of those. So you'll just have to wait for the unboxings for that. Aren't I mean? I'm sorry. I know. That's mean of me. But I can tell you one of them is a Disney. Actually, I think a couple of them are Disney. What did I get? What did I get? Oh, well, I got a Jesus picture for my aunt. Um... And then I got an Elsa picture, I'll tell you. I got an Elsa picture from Frozen. I got a ladybug and daisies for my mom. And you know, I can't remember what else I ordered. Oh, that's terrible. Ordered a set of tweezers. I don't know. I guess we'll both find out together. Um, so anyway, but what else is on my wish list is, um, there's a little blue, a little blue, he looks like a little baby dragon. This one's different than the other one. Isn't he cute? And he's got like red horns. Oh, he's so cute. I told you, I like the little baby ones, the ones that don't look so menacing. You just want to go cuddle up to them take care of them until they grow big enough to eat you, I guess. I don't know. But I think he's adorable. I just found him on, on there. I wish I would have ordered him to go with my other little baby dragon. I'll probably just get that one little, though. Probably like a 20 by 30 or something like that. I was very happy with the bam my the way my Bambi turned out being so small. I think that was a 20 by 25 or a 20 by 30. I can't remember now. And I was very happy with how that turned out being so little. So I hope the little dragons will turn out just as nice. And um but anyway. I wanted to break up all this darkness that's why I chose to do my H right now see how my coffee beans turn out of course they look weird to me but up there they probably look really good to you guys I hope I hope they look good I hope I got it big enough for with for a 40 by 40 there's another one another picture that is on my wish list this one I'm probably going to have to get pretty big. I'm probably going to have to get at least a 50 by 70, if not bigger. And I know I said that I don't like the bigger ones, but for this to have the detail in it, I think it, I, I, I'm going to have to, at, like I said, at least a 50 by 70. And if you guys think that's a good size, let me know in the comments below or on um, Instagram or, or Facebook if a 50 by 70 you think would show good detail on this picture. Um, it's an angel very colorful angel and she's got a bunch of butterflies and the crystals I don't know if you can see all the crystals and stuff down there but see how colorful she is I really think I'm probably gonna have to go pretty big with her just for the details and like I said eventually I'll find a place to hang them um, I don't think she would cost that much though because something like that doesn't usually cost a whole lot probably like 20 25 dollars maybe I would think for a bigger one Depends on how big I go, really. 
Um, I, I hope a 50 less than the one. Okay, guys. Where was I? I don't know either. For you, it's one second. For me, it was like half an hour. And um, you guys can't see it, but I got the light pad that I was talking about in the lives last weekend. It is an A2. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, you don't have any side lights. It's the same one that Stitcherista had, but bigger. And um, I can't remember. I got, I got it on Amazon, but I can't remember the company name, so I'll put that up here for you. But it was $69. And I have Prime, so it was, it was free shipping. And I tell you what, I love it. I got it yesterday. And I've been working on it ever since. And I, oh. I don't know how I'm ever going to go back to that little one working over by my couch. Because I love this one. But I was looking in the camera before I started the video back up. And without the light on, here let me show you. Without the light on, that's going to look good. It's hard to tell with the light on. Well, you might be able to tell. But this, this, I know you can't see what I'm doing, but over here is the switch. And this has five settings. That's the lowest. And that's two. Three. Four. Five. I hope you can tell the difference on that. Actually, the fifth and the fourth is way too bright for me. So I actually just keep it on the lowest setting. And it's wonderful. So, um, for you guys who are new to diamond painting, you do not have to have a light pad. When I started, I started with a magnifying glass because I couldn't see crap. I've since gotten glasses, though. That helps a lot. And having a clear canvas like this one, is, it helps a lot. But if you were to put a light up above... You'll be okay when you're just starting out. That's what I did. I just used a little LED light. I don't know. This is my little LD, LED. Blah, blah. Yeah. This is my little LED light. And it's just a little touch. Oh, there you go. And it's pretty bright. But that's what I used when I started. And it's battery operated. And I still use it to see sometimes, like the diamonds. When I can't see them too well, or like the darker diamonds, especially. But, um, yeah, you don't have to have a light pad when you're starting, it, but it does help. And the small one that I had, the A4, I think I only paid like $20, maybe $25, because I had the, um, it had the little stand with it. And let me tell you, that little stand is crap. Don't even waste your money doing that. Just pay the $15 for the light pad itself. Because that little stand was just crappy. I never used it. In fact, I think I used it to hold my camera. Oh, what, what is this? Phew. I usually leave my jars out and I put it back for some dumb reason. Alright, let's see. I'm sure I missed an H somewhere. but If so, I'll get it later. Let's see, what about K's? Let's work on the K's. Not that many of them. Okay, KKK, KKKK is 22. It's over here. They're pretty. They're like a burnt orange. Sienna, something like that, maybe. Uh, the reason I was going so long is because I had to take care of my dog, my neighbor's dog again. Um, I have a couple more days of the puppy. I say puppy, it's a dog. I call all dogs puppies, no matter how old they are. My dog was 16 and I still called him a puppy. So, wishing, let's see, what, about, what did I leave, where did I leave off? The girl, oh, the girl, the angel. Yeah, that's where I left off. So anyway, leave me a comment if you think a 50 by 70 will work for her. 
Um, keep in mind, I don't want to go huge, and to me that's big, but if I need to go a little bigger, you think, let me know. And then another one I have on my wish list. Did I tell you about the Mickey and Minnie one? The Mickey ones, I mean? Yeah, I think I did. I told you about the dragon and Tangled. Oh, the Day Night Tree. That's this one. Now, I know I have to go big on that. And I'm probably going to do at least... I think I, I think a 50 by 70 will be fine with that one. Um, I want this one because it's, it looks like a tree. It looks like one of the tattoos that I wanted to get, and I've never been able to get it. I've had I've had this picture. Oh God, I've had this picture probably 15 years. I've been wanting this tattoo for that long, but for me to get it, it oh, it's going to be a lot of money, and that's one thing I don't have is a lot of money. That's why it's been so long. But anyway, you can see the, the picture. I'll put the picture of the tattoo one right here. And then I'll put the picture of the diamond painting right here. So it's pretty close. And yes, I know I can do a custom, but I really don't want it as a diamond painting. I really want it as a tattoo. And I swear one day I'll get it. I'm getting old, but I don't care. I still want it. Um, but that's why I want that one down here as a diamond painting. Because it reminds me of the one that I, I want for a tattoo. And um, I've been talking with a tattoo artist. So we're going to see what we can do about getting it done. Now my husband doesn't have any tattoos. He wants one. And um, so we're going to try and get his first because his won't cost that much I don't think. Mine, if I did mine where I wanted it and how I wanted it, that's probably going to be, a, a you know, over a thousand dollars. And that's what I'm saying. I don't have money to blow on a tattoo. If, if, if I had that kind of money, I'd be in Disney World. Yes, I like Disney World. And I like it that much. I would love to live down there. So if any of you are watching and you live next to Disney World, go visit and hug Tigger for me, please. Go over on my Facebook and post a picture. See, Tigger says hi. <laughs> uh, I think I got them all. I, I knew there wasn't that many. That dang bag of mine just keeps sticking to my arm. Okay. How about Jay? I'm probably not going to be on here too much longer, guys, because I don't even know how long this video is right now. But I'm going to try and get a little more of this done while I'm chit-chatting with you. Um, there's, there's like a million. There's so many on my wish list. I mean, I gave you like a pretty good chunk. Well, not a pretty good chunk, but I gave you a little bit of chunk. Uh, Jay is number 12. So, like I said, you know, come over and show me what you guys want on Facebook or on Instagram. Or you can leave it in the comments below. And I'll see if I can find it, what you're talking about. Because I love, I love seeing what everybody gets. And sometimes I get them, too. <laughs> there was one, um... There was one that one of the YouTubers that I watch, Ella, and if you're watching Ella, hi, she had the, um, it's the hand, I'll show it up here, it's the hand with the butterfly, it's a male, I think it's a man hand, I don't know, it might be a female, but he, it's holding up to the sky, and it, it's a butterfly, and it looks like the butterfly is like disintegrating or melting or something, but I loved it, so I ordered it. I got it in a 40 by 50. I think hers was a 30 by 40 and it looked really good. But I wanted just a little more detail. So I went ahead and got a 40 by 50. That, like I think I've said it earlier or maybe in another video. 40 by 50 is like my sweet spot size. Because I 
I think that shows details really good on that size without going crazy money wise I mean I mean I know the bigger it gets the better the detail and for those of you who have just started you're gonna hear that a lot the bigger you go the better the detail so but this but that one with the hand and the butterfly I think a 40 by 50 will be okay for that because like I said Ella's looked really good and it was a, it was only a 30 by 40 which is pretty small so, I mean, it's probably, well, you can't see what I'm doing, but it's the same size as my Mickey and Minnie I did. Um, I spoke with Home Fun, a representative from Home Fun. We're well, not spoke with, but we, we messaged back and forth. And Home Fun go, also goes under the name Dispaint, if you guys didn't know that. And another one called, uh, is it Depay? De De I'll put it up here because I can't remember now. I'll have to go look. But, um, yeah, so when you, when you order from AliExpress, if you see those company names, those are all part of Home Fun. Now, I've had better experience with the ones called Home Fun. The one this paint was the pineapple that I did. And it's not that they were horrible or anything, but I was missing some drills. Two, well, two, two packs, five, um, shh. five of the bags were bad. It was two different colors, five bags. And I messaged them back in June, uh, like the beginning of June, like June 4th or 5th or 6th or something like that. And they said they were going to send them to me and send them to me. And I waited and waited and I got tired of waiting. So I got into my stash and I finished the pineapple and last week, you know it's been a while since I finished that pineapple. It's been a couple weeks now. But last week, I finally got the drills to finish the pineapple. So I'm like, really? So I was talking to this person from Home Fine, and they're like, well, tell me what they were, and I'll send them out. And I'm like, no, it's okay. I already got my stash and finished it. Don't worry about it. And, it, and I think it was the next day that these actually came. And these look really good. Too. No, actually, they don't. Look, there's holes in there. I'll be dang. Look at that. So, well, it's a good thing I went into my stash. I mean, I'm sure there's probably some in here I can use. But still, really? I would have thought if somebody complained, they would have picked through them. Look at all those holes. It's the same thing. That, oh, where are you? That's the same thing that happened with the last batch. Can you see those? No, you can't because I'm not on camera. Look at that. That's the same thing that happened with the last batch. So I guess when they melt this plastic down, they're, they have their temperature up too high or something. I don't know how they do it. You ever seen that show, How It's Made? Wouldn't that be awesome if they did one of these, like how, how these are made? Oh my God, I would so watch that. I know how the canvases are made because I can actually make, I can actually do this at home, but I don't have a printer. Um, okay, I got sidetracked here. What color am I working on? What am I getting? Um, how about G's? There's not many G. Let me do eyes. Eyes are better. So, yeah, how it's made. Oh, that would be awesome if they could do that on how it's made. I don't even, is that, is that show even still on? I used to love that show. I watched one. It was how crayons were made. That was really cool. And um, my dad was a glass mechanic. And for those of you who don't know what that is, basically he did window. He cut he cut glass for windows and he cut mirrors and he did windshields and and stuff like that. But um, they all start like for windows and stuff. They sh they start out with these big, huge. I mean, huge building size sheets of glass. I didn't know this, but it showed how the glass was actually made. Is that an I or a three? That's a three. And um, it was really interesting to me to watch this because I didn't know they started out that huge. I mean, because I know the sheets that my dad got were, were big, but they weren't building size big. I mean, these were like, they were like a couple stories high, tall. It was wild. But um, I don't know why I pressed so hard on that. That was funny. But uh, yeah, if they made this how it was made, that'd be cool. 
I would so watch that like a million times. So, but anyway, I think I'm going to finish my eyes here and then I'm going to call it a day for you guys because I have some other things to get done first before I can keep doing going and um okay guys well I'm going to end right here because I have some stuff to get done here at the house but um remember to hit the like button hit subscribe if you haven't already uh, leave a comment below on what size you think I should get for that one painting that I was talking about or even the couple I think it was tangled in that girl and then um Go over to Instagram at Wishing Tales and tag me with your wishes or your works in progress. Or you can go over to Facebook at Wishing Tales Diamond Painting Group and uh, show me in there. So you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.